Right now at 10, we're tracking the potential for wintry weather. The first alert storm team breaks down what's coming together just in time for the busiest travel day of the year. Plus, we're keeping an eye on the roads. You now have two reasons to leave a little earlier. VDOT and travelers alike preparing for a potential weather headache on the way to Grandma's house this Thanksgiving. And we are live in Ferguson, Missouri, following a grand jury's decision regarding an officer involved in the death of a teen months ago. This is the Valley's Fox 10 o'clock news, powered by WHSV. Well, wintry weather could be moving into the valley just before the holiday. Hi, everybody. I'm Channing Frampton. And I'm Glory Balding. Thank you for staying up with us tonight. We have team coverage on a storm that is raising a lot of questions tonight. First alert storm team meteorologist George Hirschman. He is standing by in the weather center with the science behind this storm. And WHSV's Alexis Hatfield just back from checking in with VDOT and travelers who are changing plans because of the weather ahead. First, let's check in with George on what is happening outside right now. now George, it did not feel like winter today no, at all, at but all. you say that there's a potential winter storm heading our way? Uh, potentially, yeah, uh, and not necessarily tomorrow yet because it's going to be another comfortable day coming our way it's tomorrow night into Wednesday the transition and I wanted to show you this it's not so much about uh, all the temperatures but uh, the uh, temperatures to the east and the temperatures to the west much colder out here folks cold air system moving up along the coast much warmer and moist air when do they uh, when they collide when they meet uh, that's when the action starts and that should be sometime on a Wednesday so uh, at this point uh, not too bad out there tonight fairly comfortable uh, not much in the sky at all, though expecting a few clouds to show up later tonight. We do have a winter uh, storm watch in effect for the entire area. That is for Wednesday, uh, so not to be uh, too concerned before then. A lot going on with this storm. It depends on the track of the storm. Uh, how close to the coast is it? How far out into the ocean is it? it? Makes a big difference. The pace of the storm. How fast is it moving? What time is it going to be here? When's it bump into the cold air? The temperatures make a big difference as well. So there's all these little factors going on as far as this storm is concerned. We no, yeah, a storm's going to show up. Exactly when, how much, how uh, severe? Well, we're still a little bit out on that. Going to have the, all the details for you in just a few minutes now. It's back to the news. Yeah, and George, this is a storm that we've been getting a lot of feedback from on Facebook, and I wanted to give you a chance to answer some of the questions we've been getting. <laughs> Take a look at this one. Eric okay. Lotz asks, why are other models showing much more snow? So what, what's the reasoning behind well, that? Well, the models, people don't understand. There's, there's hundreds of models, and each model has different weights in it. Some say the moisture, the barometric pressure, the sea temperatures. Mm -hmm. So they all come out a little differently, and it depends which people want to use what models. Yeah. And some come out. I've seen uh, 12, 15 inches. I don't think that's going to happen. Ew, but yikes. we've seen that much. But that's the variation you can pick up in these models. It yeah. depends on the meteorologist you're working with as right. to what they pick, what they think is going to work. And that becomes our forecast. Okay, and the second question from Facebook comes from Debbie McCormick, and she writes the question that we all want to know the answer <laughs> to, George. How much snow are we supposed to get? And that's kind of a hard question to answer at this point, right? Uh, it is a little bit on the difficult side. We are talking about an inch to three inches with a little more of the higher elevations uh -huh. for sure, a possibility. Possibility of no snow at all, folks. And to the east of the mountains, that's pretty much a rain event. Right. Okay. So. Well, George, you're going to be tracking this throughout the <laughs> night. He's going to have a full breakdown of what we're looking at. You're working on that for later. You want to stay close to Twitter and to your Facebook page. We send stuff out, let you know what's going on. That's right. And you can ask your questions about the weather team on WHSV TV3 Facebook page. Just send your questions on over and we'll do our best to answer them for you and keep you ahead of the storm. Now let's continue our team coverage of this potentially dangerous weather that could impact your, your travel plans. I'm joined by WHSV's Alexis Hadfield. So, Alexis, why is this such a tough situation for VDOT? Well, the timing of the storm makes it extremely tricky for VDOT. And with the combination of people on the roads for Thanksgiving and depending on how that storm starts, VDOT may not be able to prepare. That's why one family told me they're happy to beat the storm before it gets here. Ann Stevens and her family are traveling up Interstate 81 from Georgia, heading back to her hometown of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. She says she is used to winter weather. Snow's not a big deal. Here in the Valley, the Virginia Department of Transportation says it's keeping a close eye on the forecast. You may remember scenes like this from last year. 
VDOT says if it rains before the snow, it may not be able to pretreat the roads. It just washes those chemicals right off the road surface. But if it doesn't rain first, VDOT says it can pretreat. The mild temperatures ahead of the storm and the possibility of winter weather on the way, it makes it tricky for VDOT to tackle. We saw a lot of this uh, last winter where we had some nice days where it's you know getting close to 70 degrees and then two days later, you're standing out there in the sleet or the snow. Now with Thanksgiving a few days away, VDOT recommends getting on the roads earlier. Ann Stevens knew it would save her family from a travel headache. Could not imagine uh, the traffic if it was, say, Wednesday or something. Um, it would be awful, um, especially since uh, here on 81, it's definitely a far more busy road. It's only a few more hours to their final destination. Okay, so Alexis, what should I do before I hit the roads? Well, before you hit the roads, VDOT has a few resources you can use to get information on road conditions. You can call 511 or use your phone or computer. We'll have more information and a link to traffic cameras up and down Interstate 64 and 81 on our web channel at whsv.com. Thank you, Alexis. Thanks. All right, we're also tracking some, tracking some breaking news at this hour. This is a live look at Ferguson, Missouri. That announcement from the grand jury just came down that Officer Darren Wilson will not be indicted in connection with the death of Michael Brown. Uh, Ferguson's uh, protests, along with a lot of other cities across mm -hmm. the nation, really kind of starting to ramp up. Uh, it's unclear what's happening here, but it looks like there is some activity with the police going on. There has been a lot of activity that we've seen, not just in Ferguson, but also in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. in, New in New York City. Now